let me tell you a little bit about this morning. <laughs> Welcome to day 28 of vlogging every day throughout August. I'm so chuffed we made it this far. When I was on day like two or three, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Now it's only a few days off. And to celebrate, I put Steve in a dress. Now I'm kidding. Mum left this morning. She ended up not cycling next to me on my run, which was to be expected because yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, she can't actually ride a bike. So that's okay. We forgave her for that. Um, and then me and Squeezy ran 10K, which is very shocking because we drank all, well, I secretly don't drink as much as I let everyone, I like make everyone believe that I'm drinking loads, but I don't actually drink that much. I think I had three drinks over the course of the whole day. So I felt okay this morning. Steve uh, may have felt the gin oozing from his pores slightly more. Uh, but yeah, we got 10K done and then he needed to help me, or well, he didn't need to help me. I asked him to help me film a brand. Oh, hence he's in this gorgeous dress that he's very happy about. I'm excited for you to see the finished content. Just send it off to the brand. But yeah, it's Bank Holiday Monday, so we might just go enjoy carnival for a little bit, to be honest. I think we're both a little peckish. So Steve's gonna have his main lunch here, because I don't know if anyone else is like us. You have to have your main snack at home before you leave home, because otherwise you spend too much money on random bullshit. So we'll have some of our Simmer Eats meals, and then probably just go scavenging for something outside. And then this afternoon, I have a tattoo in the diary. So I'm supposed to be traveling to Angel, but honestly, today's also the main day of carnival. So we're a little bit worried about the whole public transport situation. So currently tattoo is in the diary for 4.30 in the afternoon, but whether or not that actually goes ahead is another question altogether. Dyson gifted me this Hoover last year. I did a campaign with them basically. It was really cool. It was one of my favorites and I've done it. It's so cool. But I think it, what? Sound of the hill. I'll get a dress. Be back. <laughs> the straps are like all dug into him and he looks sort of like a part of piece of ham, bless him. Um, but he's out of it now. Oh yeah, last year, Dyson gave me this backpack and it was basically to measure like pollution levels around London. And it was so fucking cool. Basically the findings were that if you go for runs, if you're able to run in areas with like parks and just more greenery, then the pollution levels are generally lower. So it's encouraging people to run more in grassy areas than on like polluted roads. Because I personally didn't know that there was actually that big of a difference between running on a road that was like a few meters away from a park. But yeah, it actually makes a significant difference and could be worthwhile knowing for your overall health. Anyway, the campaign went super well and they gifted me this Dyson last year. But I've been wanting to move slash buy my first place for a while. So I was saving it because I was like, maybe, I'll be able to get somewhere soon. But when my brother came here yesterday, because you know how he has moved into a new place. I don't know if anyone else's little brother's like mine. He would never buy his own Hoover for his own place. So he was just looking at my old Hoover and he was like, I need a Hoover. I couldn't not let him have my Hoover. Like it's my baby, but yeah, like. So him and Olivia left late last night at like midnight with a Hoover in hand. They must look sick on public transport. <laughs> uh, so today's the day that I guess we're opening this new Dyson. Steve's been wanting me to open this for ages, to be fair. Oh my goodness. Wait, see, this is so pretty. Me unboxing it like I'm gonna build any of this myself. You can build this later, can't you? I'm kidding, I can do it. <laughs> but I really like the colors. Yay! My flat's a tip after everyone stayed here this weekend. No one was supposed to be here for two days. We just ended up spending the whole weekend together. It was supposed to be a one day thing. Ended up being two days of chaos and mess, but carnival just do be like that sometimes. Can you hear the carnival from literally on my spare room? These are our outfits to go roam around carnival and then go get a hand tattoo. <laughs> I'm quite snacky. Can we literally just go outside and find a snack? Yeah. And walk around in the sun for a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and enjoy the music and the vibes and the fact that we actually live here during carnival is crazy. I didn't actually get around to putting this together, but I just want to get outside, you know. I also got a little bit carried away editing the brand deal that was the reason Steve was in the dress in the first place, but I just, we got to get outside. We got to enjoy the vibes before I need to go see Tal for my tattoo. So yeah, this is a later problem for real. It's got to be done, honestly. Well, me, me as well. Mm. 
I don't know how to describe that experience, but <laughs> if you've never been to Carnival, you fucking have to. It's the best vibes. It's chaotic vibes, but it's so much fun. We're making our way to Angel right now though, because I have my tattoo appointment in about 50 minutes and that traffic was moving so slowly. Like, there's a solid chance we're late, but luckily Tal loves me, so hopefully I don't make him mad if I'm too late. I also need to get him a sweet treat because he's my sort of pie. I'm feeling pretty nervous. I don't know if any of you have had a hand tattoo before, but I haven't heard great reviews. Everyone keeps scaring me. When I got this tattoo done, the Confusing Inga logo, the girl that did it, who's a legend, she tested these little dots on my fingers. Can you see them? <laughs> For pain. And it was a solid medium, small to medium pain. Now that I'm doing actual patterns, yeah, I just, I can't read how bad it's gonna be, but then you literally never can do with tattoos. I have one on my hip that, worst tattoo like i've literally got the bone on my chest tattoo but the tiny little love heart i have on my hip that was the worst tattoo i've ever had so yeah can't call what a finger tattoo is gonna feel like steve doesn't even have any experience because he only has one tattoo so i'm the harder one out of the two of us because i'm gonna have a million after today i might cry a bit today though <laughs> we have to get coffee real quick apparently we need coffee there's not much coffee in carnival you know it's a lot of Hennessy, but not much <laughs> There is a lot of Hennessy. We need to figure out what Maggie's is, because um, apparently that shit gets you fucked up. I just have no idea what it is. I feel like I do need to try it at least once, though. Awesome. I've never been here. I really need to try it. Apparently it's sick. I don't know what we're going to do. There's like, no train entry anywhere. Excuse me. To the left for the carnival. How do we get into Notting Hill's station? And as you can see, okay. you can't get into it. It's closed for the last two days. It's never open on the one. Oops. We've had to come and touch grass real quick because I can't get there because no trains are working because of Carney, which obviously, I mean, I could have, should have assumed. But also we had just like a clash of diaries, had a mix up. So I guess I'm not getting hand tattoo today, which is really annoying because I'd psyched myself up for the pain. Like I'd imagined it could be the worst thing viably possible. Now I'm just gonna have to prepare myself for that on a different day. I'm so sad. Should we go eat something fun? No. I don't want anything. I wanna go home. <laughs> Some chocolate? No. You're a liar. No, I wanna be sad. You, you always want chocolate. No. What, what about sad chocolate? No. That's the best one. Mm. We tripped and fell. <laughs> Accident. How so pretty they are. They're like a work of art. Oh. That might cheer me up a little bit. I'm just mad because it's the second time I haven't been able to get it done. It's the second time I've had it in my diary. And I'm just worried that it's like an omen that I'm not supposed to get it done. But like I really want to get it done. No, it's coming. Uh, you want some of this? I think we should try one. We're doing this. Okay. It's carnival after all. Okay. Two for ten. Should we get two? Sixteen percent. Holy shit. You see this thing? This is sixteen point five percent. Everyone kept telling us we had to try Maggie's, we had to try Maggie's, but we just saw this. So I assume this is what everyone's meant when they said we've got to try Maggie's. We've got one to share because we're both massive lightweights. <laughs> It's like going to the doctor, you know, when they prescribe something. What's up? That syrup, you know? Mm. That, that good tasting cough syrup. It's like that. <laughs> that good stuff. Tonic wine. The name tonic wine is not imply health. Oh, yeah. giving or medicinal properties. Mm. Yeah. Tonic wine is not imply health giving or medicinal properties. Oh my god. It literally tastes like alcohol. <laughs> I feel drunk already. Oh my god. This shit dangerous. <laughs> Out of 10. Solid 6.5. I agree, I'd give it that as well. Box. I agree. The taste isn't what I'd go for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but for it's festival, it's for like carny. It's strong and it's getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon we go to sleep tonight <laughs> i can't lie to you i got a little bit tipsy from that half of maggie's 
I I'm done being sad by the way I just it's because I told you something big was gonna happen today and I was just so excited and then the tattoo just didn't happen and I was gutted but the sugar helped also Netflix helps wait we're watching this whenever I'm sad I like watching Netflix and eating chocolate with Steve to be fair I like doing that when I'm happy as well but just I needed some Netflix right now you know to poke me up Steve was here a minute ago he's just gone back out to carnival to get himself some more jerk chicken because this is a once a year occurrence and it is really good especially there's like a family owned place right outside my flat and it's like delicious in fact I might need to go get a little bit more as well because that's got my mouth watering a little bit oh you guys he's back he didn't get his jerk chicken it's many many hours later and we still haven't consumed any dinner <laughs> we're just having a little midnight snack of some pineapple which is making my tongue feel spiky and these eggs which are double yolk eggs by the way if you know me now out of date it's fine it's fine no one needs to know about it has to know yeah you're just gonna munch on them and then go to bed so i guess i'll see you guys in the morning bright and early Thank you for spending the day and the weekend and the whole month with me so far. And I'll see you guys in the morning, I guess. Like and subscribe.